to OG Reefs and Aquariums. I'm your boy Sam. There's Dana. There's the 110. Here's the problem. All right, so bought a SDC 6.0 pump because it is or has the capability of being controlled from your Apex. Also, with that, you don't have to use up a outlet on your EB8. So freeze up an outlet, gives the flexibility all on the one app Apex. Now, with that said, get into work is something else. But that's where your boy gonna help you out. Give you a little insight. So first of all, this is the uh, the control for the pump app, okay? And what you're gonna need from here is, and you actually, there's no need to install the mobile app if you're gonna use the Apex, but it makes it a lot easier. I'll show you why. You need to make sure that in your version of your firmware that's installed on your pump, is at least 0 0.9.9. This is the latest firmware. Now, if you see anything other outside of this, you need to email. You need to email support for SDC. Thus, you need to create an account. So, if you're going to create an account, you might as well install the mobile app. You either them that, you hook, well, actually, clarification. You hook up the pump to the mobile app. You sync them together. You email them, say, hey, my name is Boom Boom Boom. Here's my email address. I'm interested in controlling my pump from the Apex Fusion interface. What they do is they use your... I don't think I was recording any of that. They use your email address to push through the appropriate firmware to your pump. Now, that pump makes it compliant with the Apex. Okay, and then once they do that, they send you an email back saying, boom, 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 it's updated. You come into the actual app, you'll confirm it by coming to the settings page. You see the firmware version, and then take note of the IOTA. That's the name that's going to be the task that you're running Apex is add an IOTA device. And then these four digits here will be the password to pair the two, to pair the pump to the Apex. So write this down, IOTA, okay? You gotta come over to the Apex. And you're gonna make sure that you're running a compliant version of the Apex OS. So you're gonna hit dashboard, you're gonna hit network. It's gonna bring up your Apex. And over to the right, here's your installed iOS. Now, okay, so the appropriate firmware is 506.721. This is the firmware that is the SDC pump compliant. Once you update this, we're gonna to go to the dashboard. And we're gonna to go to task, which is here. Oh, no it's not, that's calendar. Hold on a second, task. My bad, my bad. Here. And we're going to run, remember this is called an IOTA device, in-out tethered device in a sense. So we're going to add an IOTA device. We're going to click that. And now I'm going to go back to the instructions because I've already added mine. And these instructions are hard to find, guys. Anyway, so make sure it's IOTA compliant, which it is. Make sure it's powered on. Connect it to the local network. We've done that. We've upgraded the firmware. Two, we're going to pick it out of the selected list here. You should only see one pump. Select that. Hit. It's going to become green. You hit next. The device requires a password. This is where you're going to type in that password I told you to save, which in my version is 0183. Type in 0183. And then let's get down here. And it's going to sign that pump with that IP address and that password as a usable device module within the Apex. Right. Now, this does not require you to plug it into the Apex EB8. If you do, on that EB8, since you're no longer going to use the 
the app to control the pump, you need to always set that EV8 as fallback on, right? Not off, it's not gonna be auto, it's gonna be on. In my case, I don't utilize it. I use the external outlet, which is uh, default is always on. That way it frees up my EB8, okay? All right. Now, we're gonna go to tasks. It's gonna cancel out of here. And we're gonna go into modules. Remember guys, you're no longer gonna use the control that came with the, the app. You can, now I can control it from the Apex, okay? So we're gonna go, we did the, uh, the task to add it. Now we come at the dashboard. Now if you go to modules, which is uh, here, you're gonna go plus. And if you had a module, it'll say add the IO module that detected. So I'll go back to the manual so you can see what it looks like from the list. One second here. And it's gonna prompt you for a password. Okay. In this case, once again, you're gonna go back and add the password that you got out of the device. Hit okay. Then that module will appear in your list as a status of green and active, right? And once again, do not use your pump. No, I'm sorry, do not use the mobile app anymore because your Apex overrides those settings, okay? When you go back to the dashboard, you're gonna get something that says new towel is available, okay? You're gonna come up here and unlock the towels. And it's gonna appear here and you're gonna drag it down and then when you drag it down to the bottom, you're now gonna see the name of the pump and a brand new towel. Now within this brand new towel, I got an off auto only, it's just like a regular. This is the older one I'm replacing, which is turn pump. So I'm gonna remove this and you see the only difference now is, is that it says the pump name, okay? Now in my old uh, pump, I had it some advanced configuration, fall back on, if the apex cut off, then the pump cut off. If there's water detected on the floor, the pump cut off, and then the feed mode. But I copy all that over to the pump now. So this is the setup for the pump. I got it constant at 62, um, the power rating of 62 out of 100, right? But let's let's go to basic view and I paste it here so now this functions exactly like my previous pump did the power goes off same thing only difference is I'm not utilizing a EV8 um, spot anymore so I have an open spot on my power strip but now I have different points here. Like I can add different modules to it. I can have constant. I can have lagoon, sharp break. All of the dim, all of the functionality that I got from the app is now controllable within my Apex. All right. So I no longer use the app. Everything is my Apex now. Now if I hit feed mode, or if the if, if the pump comes off, if the skimmer or anything backfires, it now triggers. Not return. Not return pump underscore main now, but SSCI underscore 9.1. And now the regular programming. I opened up a spot on my EV8. My pump is functioning all under one universal app, App Fusion. I got enabled logging, monitoring, and everything. It is bone quiet. Like, subscribe at the bottom. Your boy, Sam, OG Reefs and Aquariums. And uh, that's it. So if you got an SDC pump, German-made five-year warranty, can't beat it. Quiet. If you want to have it universal, 
control within the apex and if you want to free up those very important uh, sockets on your EBA, this is the way to go.